that country album and any of you that buy that she a stupid as shit. You don't give it trap okay. music with God a holster and a f hat. But she remade Jolene. Dead bitch. I'm gonna tell you the song she should have remade. It's a hit. It would have done great for her. She should have tried it on. Tammy Wynette. Classic. Stand by your man. Don't act like you don't know that now. Remake that. Stand by that. That's a real country hit. Jolene Nice. But it has a ring to it. Stand by your man. Yeah. Whoops you. And I disrespect you with other like Kathy Coriana White. All right, well, let's do it who like this. He was actually carrying his baby while you was faking it. I want to ask you about Jay-Z because I always heard like you had some kind of C&D where you couldn't talk about Jay-Z, but... I never sound to have to go to court. Because well, if I, I go to that. court, if I go to court, I got to swear on the Bible to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And I believe in the God that they say that it's all about, so I'm not going to lie. Free Beyonce. She a prisoner. Now, you had said that you felt that Beyonce was oh, a prisoner. Free Beyonce. Because I always heard their relationship was put... You can be in love with someone. You can love someone and you not... And if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're going to have complications, period. And if you, you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And, you know, for us, we chose to for, fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, to, to see a different outcome, like you were saying. It's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. That's beautiful. Like, like real people. Yeah. Beautiful uh, a wife who was understanding and knew that I'm not the, the worst of what I've done. And like, we did the hard work of going to therapy and we love each other, right? So we really put in the work. You all thought Jay-Z was the cheater in the marriage, right? Wrong. It was Beyonce all along. Jaguar Wright, known for her fearless tongue and penchant for stirring up trouble, has once again thrown the music industry into a frenzy with her latest bombshell. This time, the target of her scandalous revelations? None other than the reigning queen of pop, Beyonce Knowles Carter herself. Brace yourselves, folks, because this tea is piping hot. Beyonce's internet. That's, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil, she ain't nothing but an employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumbass bitch. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't nobody want to accept that that bitch bitch? I think she's she went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> okay. A girl went to court. And charged her with extreme witchcraft. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and shit while she was asleep. No snacking on his bitch. Killing people cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining or they just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician and she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music, handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington, Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started all the girls. Impulse control issues? I don't know. Here's everything you need to know. 
In a no-holds-barred tirade that would make even the boldest gossip columnist blush, Jaguar has peeled back the layers of Beyoncé's carefully crafted public persona, exposing a scandal of epic proportions. According to Jaguar, the journey to the top of the charts isn't just paved with talent and hard work. It's a treacherous path fraught with backstabbing, manipulation, and yes, illicit affairs. Yeah, because they still want to believe that that sham of a fucking marriage is real. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> he ain't never gonna be Tupac, and she proved it when she fucked August Alcina. Ooh, ooh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a dog. Hey, man. Hey, man. And that was they kids' friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. can believe that that shit is real by any means with all of that? It makes it tough to believe. With all of that. Yeah. When they was busy fucking partying with the Martins, then they switched over from the Martins to uh, uh, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, and then fucking Kiss happened on Hawthorne, her show got canceled, Mark and Jennifer broke up, all of this shit was going on. And guess what? Don't nobody want to admit that they a victim. So they pretend to be friends. But hold on, because here's where it gets truly scandalous. Jaguar alleges that Beyonce, the epitome of marital bliss with hip-hop mogul Jay-Z, has been playing a dangerous game behind closed doors. That's right, folks. Queen Bey herself stands accused of betraying her husband's trust with none other than her own backup dancer. Talk about a plot twist worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster. Weirdo. I don't get no what you got in your and you that neural link. You'll never outthink me. Ever. All I do is frustrate your f***ing AI. Yeah. You can't quantify me. You can't even control your wife. You gonna handle a bit like me. You can't even control that goofy bit. You should have done a better job. Maybe she wouldn't have had to lose her mind on Kathy. Cause you ain't protecting you. You're protecting her. Wonder why? Now, let's dissect the evidence, shall we? Enter Beyonce's seventh solo album, Renaissance, a glittering gem in her illustrious discography. Now with Beyonce's Renaissance, the highly anticipated seventh studio album dropping overnight, Queen Bee also addressing how the album leaked early. She's thanking her fans for waiting and for their unwavering support. On our own Beehive Chapter Fan Club, President Chris Connolly has all the reaction. Have you already listened to the whole thing, Chris? It's fabulous. What can I tell you, Cecilia? It's tremendous. And yes, I love you deep, Beyonce tweeting at her fans, grateful that they spurned the leaked retracts from Renaissance that were bouncing around the internet earlier this week and focused on getting the real ones. And now that they've got them, they can't get enough. With tracks like Break My Soul, featuring the incomparable Big Freedia, this album isn't just a musical masterpiece, it's a love letter to the black and queer pioneers of disco, funk, and house music. But here's the kicker. Could it be that Beyonce's sudden embrace of queer culture is more than just an artistic expression? Could it be a subtle confession of her own hidden desires? The album's meteoric rise to critical acclaim, surpassing even the legendary Lemonade on Metacritic, has tongues wagging and conspiracy theories swirling. And let's not forget Beyonce's history of toying with the tabloids when it comes to her sexuality. From those steamy rumors with Eva Longoria back in 2006 to her continued closeness with attractive women, it seems Queen Bey has always had a penchant for keeping us guessing. Emphasis 
on looking. Stop looking. Okay. And action. Stop looking. And action. Is it too fast doing now? And action. Quiet, please, guys. We're gonna do uh, 24 frames. No, we are at 48. Everybody ready? Are we doing? 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 Are we um, but this is wait. Like, you're, like, you're, like, you're like a different person. <laughs> On one side, two face. <laughs> you're two face. <laughs> Ready and action. <laughs> She's like, we gotta get there. <laughs> and action. What's in? Makeup that actually mimics skin tone and texture. All right, it was very good. Just one more. We were, that? we were a little. For the very first time. It's a true match first, and we're working. Nice, okay, good. All right, okay. nice, guys. Work out. All right, so now there's two more things left. As the whispers of a potential Beyonce film with Eva Longoria continued to swirl, fueled by the star's undeniable chemistry and rumored off screen dalliances, one couldn't help but wonder, was there more to Beyonce's private life than met the eye? After all, this is a woman who has built an empire on her carefully guarded image, leaving fans and critics alike craving even the smallest glimpse behind the curtain. And now, with Jaguar Wright dropping tantalizing hints about a clandestine affair with a backup dancer, the speculation surrounding Queen Bey has reached a fever pitch. Could it be that beneath her flawless facade, lies a tangle of secrets and forbidden desires, especially given Jay-Z's control over her. Maybe she just wanted to be rebellious and break free from him and all his abuse. Sean Carter is just as bad as the diddler. And I know that for a fact. I've got the scars to prove it. So, there's been so many people on the internet trying to figure out where you are, they're watching you, they're, you know, they're doing all types of stuff trying to figure you out. You want to know what a box cutter feels like going into your skin and gripping you? I'll tell you how it feels. Y'all ain't seen that Cassie shit, that's nothing. So are you are you are you trying to say like Jay-Z put hands on you? I'm saying Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me and he's got it on too. But wait, there's more. Enter Alexander Wright, who shook the very foundations of the Knowles dynasty with her bombshell revelation in 2010. According to her, Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father, had an affair with her in which she got pregnant with his child. She went to court demanding over $30,000 in child support. After a legal battle, 
his $12,000 child support fine was reduced to $2,485 per month when Beyonce fired him as her manager. What this proved to the world was that the Knowles family tree was far more tangled than anyone could have imagined. We talked about her the other day, um, who had a baby with Beyonce's dad. Did you see Entertainment Tonight, last, or excuse me, the Inside Edition last night? I love the Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. I mean, they do some really thorough research, and I just love that show. So her name is Alexandra Wright, that's her. And she's claiming that Matthew Knowles, and I told you this earlier in the week, is so behind in child support for their three-year-old daughter that she's now on public assistance. Or excuse me, three-year-old son. The boy's name is Nixon. Uh, she's on public assistance. Matthew is claiming it was a clerical error. <laughs> clerical error. <laughs> um, and he owes a little over $30,000. Well, she went on Inside Edition I have the clip, just take a look. How much has Matthew Knowles seen his son? You've seen more of my son today than he has. I tried everything to not have it public, but unfortunately, that's just not the way that Matthew chose to deal with this. Matthew Knowles actually suggested that she hand over their son to Beyonce and Jay-Z so they could raise him as their own before their daughter, Blue Ivy, was born. Beyonce and Jay-Z have never attacked me. They've never done anything wrong to me. They have never been negative at all. That's the gag that, that Beyonce and Jay-Z, that Matthew wanted them to take the baby. All right, first of all, I never feel sorry for a side piece, ever, <laughs> ever. Especially one who's gonna lay down. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. Especially one that's gonna lay down with Tina's husband. You, do you realize that this is the affair that from all, from all um, I can tell, um, had a lot to do with breaking up their marriage, Tina and Matthew. Well, he tipped out on her, allegedly. I'll say, this was a good couple when they were together, weren't they? For Beyonce, who has long been known for her close relationship with her father, despite his well-documented history of extramarital affairs and secret love children, the implications are staggering. Could she too have followed in her father's footsteps, indulging in her own forbidden trysts and hidden affairs? It is no secret that Beyonce has always been a public supporter of the LGBTQ community. Maybe it was because she was a part of it all along. I want to dedicate this award to my Uncle Johnny, the most fabulous gay man I've ever known and I ever knew, who helped raise me and my sister. He lived his truth. He was brave and unapologetic during a time when this country wasn't as accepted. And witnessing his battle with HIV, was one of the most painful experiences I've ever lived. I'm hopeful that his struggle served to open pathways for other young people to live more freely. LGBTQI rights are human rights. That's all for today. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.